today we are going to be attempting a massive, very exciting DIY. We are going to be attempting to do a wig transformation video. And to help us along our magical journey, we have a very strange and suspicious looking cast of characters. Do you have anything to say? You look like a cabbage with eyes. I did a couple of wig videos in like September and October and I really started loving the look of wigs and how easily I can just change up my look completely with like zero to no commitment because you guys, I don't think that I'm ever gonna be able to like permanently dye my hair like a different color than it is now, which you guys can't see because I have it all pulled up already for the wig cap that we're gonna need in just a little bit. My past life regression, something like deep inside of me that is a hundred percent full-time committed to looking this way. I love like bright blue hair, pink hair, all kinds of hair like that. But I just think I might have like an out of body experience if I did that permanently to myself. Anyway, it's almost a ritual at night that I've started doing every night where I'll just like go on Amazon or Wish or YouTube and like watch videos about wigs or just like browse different colors, different styles of wigs. About like the past month and a half, I have just been heavily watching people do like full wig transformation videos. And I decided I wanted to do that for myself because a color of wig that I have always wanted is an actually like bright orange pumpkin queen wig. And I've tried unsuccessfully on Amazon to buy a couple of orange wigs, but when I get them in the mail, they're never really like Halloween pumpkin orange. They're always like more of a natural red tone. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna try and create my ultimate pumpkin wig fantasy. To do the hair dye, I have two different shades of Arctic Fox hair dye. I have a porridge and I have a larger bottle of sunset orange. Is my camera focusing? Also, I've got a wig. For the first time ever on Amazon, I purchased a human hair wig because I did not think that I could dye a synthetic hair wig. If you guys are experts at hair dye or wigs, leave in the comments. Like, can I dye a synthetic wig? Is there just like a different process for that? I also have to be honest, I've never dyed hair in my life. I've never bought hair dye ever, ever, ever in my life. Are you lace friends? Oh my God. I believe that this was supposed to be 180 density. It was honestly like so much more expensive, obviously, than synthetic hair. Maybe she's born with it. I kind of wanted the look of bangs. This is also called air bangs, which is kind of like a does this thing really work? Because what the hell is an air bang? It just sounds like I'm saying hair with like a really heavy British accent maybe. Air bangs. Everyone in Great Britain just left the chat. You're stuck on a card. Does that match? Kinda? What? I just noticed like, oh my God, you can totally see the tracks on this. The first little buddy we need for our journey is Belinda back here. I think her name should be Belinda. I bought a head, but like a head I could stick thumbtacks into. I really am sad to have to unwrap this because I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I literally feel like I could just set this out in this room just like this and it's like an objet d'art. So beautiful. So strange. Oh my god, it has pierced ears? Wow. Relaxing. <gasps> Oh my God, okay, I'm so excited. This weird mask. Oh my God, I could wear it too. The scent is so disgusting. This is gonna kill me if I leave it on one second longer. Oh my gosh, she's got lashes. Do you guys ever see those amazing like mannequin head transformation videos? Because now, can I poke this head? Oh my God, that's glued on. I thought they had like soft Stop it. heads so that you could stick pins into them. <gasps> oh, she's a feisty one. Oh, this wig is like kind of funky. Come a little closer so you can see the funk up close where the knots are tied. Some of them are like darker. This video has uh, taken an unexpected turn because I started just looking at the wig before I was gonna start dyeing it or whatever I'm gonna do next. I've been watching all these videos and then like I sit down 
to do all of this stuff myself and I'm just like, what do I do next, Brad Mondo? Anyway, I was like just thinking about what I was gonna do next with my life and I started seeing all these like little black things in this wig. Can you guys see that? There's like more than one, but you know, just so that I can keep like living, breathing and being sane, we're just gonna take this little microscope, we're gonna have a little looky-loo and uh, see if these little black things have brains and souls and minds and bodies. That's what hair looks like under a microscope. Let's look at the mysterious black thing. Ew! Oh my God, okay. Can you see that? Not a bug, but I'll tell you what it does look like. Looks like a bezoar. You don't know what that is? Just Google it if you need some nightmare fuel. On that note, we can continue living and smiling. The first thing that I wanna do to kind of style this wig, even though I'm not exactly sure if it's necessary for this one since it is human hair, but I'm just curious and this company, True and Tidy, they were so sweet when they found out I was doing this video. They sent over a steamer so that I could test out steaming wigs. If you guys like this video, maybe you would like to see me attempt to do a synthetic wig styling video. Lord knows I have this gray wig that I love to wear that I got a couple of years ago on Wish and I have tossed that thing around so much. It's just a complete mess. So maybe we could like review vibe that one? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I've never used a steamer in my life, except for a facial steamer. Can I do a facial steam with this? Oh, 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 I was not expecting that! Ooh. Oh my god. This is giving her unexpected volume. You guys can see, like, she is a little curly right now. Not curly, but just like wavy. Honey, do you want a facial? That looks so relaxing. You guys, I love facial steamers. Ooh. I'm definitely not using this as intended, so don't do what I do. Should I start steaming my hair instead of straightening it? Speaking of which, have you guys ever seen the steam hair straighteners? They literally make those. I've literally just now discovered the power of a steamer. I am drunk with steamer power. <laughs> Never gonna go back to straightening my hair again. I never knew I could have this much fun with a steamer. This is like genuinely relaxing me. I feel like I had like way too much fun with a steamer. Like when I saw it in other people's videos, I was like, oh my God, that looks so fun. But like, I literally, I didn't know it was like that fun. So I think I just like steamed the wig maybe way more than necessary. I'm having a good time. I know how silly that sounds. It's like, I'm having fun vacuuming. A huge thank you to True and Tidy for sending this little gadget over. They put together a nice little bundle for you guys if y'all are wanting to do some like practical Christmas gift shopping. You can use code BUNNY and you will get 60% off of the steamer and then they're throwing in this little lint trimmer as well. I've never used a lint trimmer either in my life. Let me go find this. Oh my God. I probably shouldn't be doing that either. This sweater is very near and dear to my heart. I actually made this before I even had my YouTube channel. You guys see these things? We're gonna cut them off. Oh my God. Why is this so fun? Cut off all this stuff. This is the problem where I always like demonstrate everything on black fabric. Feels so much softer there. Anyway, you guys, if y'all wanna have as much fun with regular household appliances as I did here today, True and Tidy sent this over for me today and then they also gave me a coupon code to pass on to you guys. So this isn't like a sponsorship, but this is an affiliate code. So if you use it, I will get a little, uh, I will get a little, I'll get a little something. How do I dye hair? I asked the very friendly sales associate at Sally's and she said if I was starting on bleached hair already that I didn't necessarily need to mix any what do they call it she said that I could just plop straight up dye on this wig so that's all I'm gonna be doing I think I'm going to start with lighter at the roots and then like put the darker color more all over should I have gloves or something I'm just gonna go ahead and like Ooh, you guys can't see that. For some reason, I was just compelled to wipe a swatch of dye on this hair. I feel like I would make just a great hairdresser. Also, do you guys love the new backdrop? It's supposed to be like a creepy carnival. Also this dye smells so good. It smells kind of like grape candy. This is the color of my orange hair fantasies. Yeah, yes. I think I'm gonna get some plastic wrap and like plastic wrap her face. Maybe get some gloves. I don't know. 
went ahead and I clipped the bangs in. The bangs were super cheap. The bangs are like super fake. Like it's kind of weird because I feel like the hair quality is so good, but they look kind of weird. I don't know. So I think that we're just gonna start dyeing like the all over hair and then maybe we'll come back to the bangs in a minute. Ooh. That is like aesthetically pleasing. Oh my God, I feel like so legit and fancy. Like I'm mixing nothing. Why am I stirring this? Okay, you guys, why do I feel like this is gonna like awaken some obsession within me? What am I doing? There's like so many layers. Hair is like onions. I don't think I have nearly enough dye, you guys. I know I'm not doing this right. This is not how Guy Tang does it. I'm having so much fun, but I know I'm making a mess. Look at that! That's not the whole bottle, but I feel like I'm like running out already. And I'm so glad I covered this head in plastic. I'm also literally doing dye right now in my possibly all-time favorite police shirt. I should have like changed clothes. So many thoughts that I should have had before I started this process. I'm trying to like peel back the onion layers and do more, oh, do more of this. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my God. A professional, tell me, is this a good or bad quality of wig? I shouldn't touch my camera right now. I'm gonna do it anyway. Is this good quality? I can see where this would become a new hobby for me. Just dyeing <laughs> fake heads of hair. How many bottles of dye are you supposed to buy? I'm having fun and I'm doing a bad job, but it's okay because the client can't complain. I don't have enough strength to squeeze. <laughs> I'm gonna put the cap back on. I'm gonna let it sit like this so all the, you know. Deeper layers, we've all got them. No matter how much you try and hide them. We paint them orange. Oh my God, am I just ripping hair out? <gasps> this is why my own hair looks like shit. Who wants to come over and let me dye their hair? Can you imagine dyeing a subscriber's hair? I don't know why I was worried about bugs being in this wig because if they were here, they'd be dead now. I'm an artist. Who needs cosmetology school when you can just... <laughs> just a little pile of bird poopy right on top of your scalp. Now let's rub it in. Make it look pretty. You know what I'm gonna do is like the thing that I see all the artists doing. Why do you guys do this? Should I, am I, do I need to be doing that? That looks great. That is a majority of the bottle of the lighter orange color. How are you feeling about it? Someone please get me out of here. Let Get the party really started with this sunset orange shade. There's no way I have enough for this entire wig. Oh my God. Just start painting the front. <gasps> oh yes. Oh, I love this color. Maybe I should try that thing again where you go like that. What am I doing? I'm just emulating. Look at that. That's the color I wanted for a day. I'm just over here like, like just whispering to myself, like as if I'm actually doing a good job. Leave in for at least 30 minutes. Okay. Trying to at least make sure that the front of this wig looks good. That's kind of the only portion of my body I ever concentrate on anyway, because like, you know, YouTube, you just see like the front. Let me tell you also my freaking latest, one of, one of my many latest YouTube obsessions is a YouTuber on here named Mackenzie Marie. She literally dyes her hair with like Crayola markers. It's some of the most magical stuff I have ever seen uploaded to this platform. If I run out of dye, I guess I can just always use Crayola markers. I've also, oh, I kicked the camera. I have on my Ugg boots right now so that I can survive the winter. Just rolling my eyes at winter. Once daylight savings time ends, so does my will to exist for the year. This is starting to really look good. I'm trying to not like cover the sections that I already went over with the lighter orange dye. Because you see, Guy Tang does like all that cool stuff where it's like 50 different shades of red and orange and yellow and oh, it looks like a starburst. Now why I thought I could recreate that with literally zero education or experience, I don't think that this is a concern I should have because I'm sure this is gonna come out looking jacked. But I kind of want it to have that like homegrown vibe. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I could just like drag it down through with my fingers and then just have like all orange at the top and like just weird blonde entrails at the bottom. 
I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing and I'll see you guys in about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, I know this is gonna sound crazy. Why does everyone use these brushes? I was just like, mm, that's kind of like taking a long time. Like people run the dye through with their hands anyway. So I was like, why not try the scoop method? Well, I'm just crudely scooping the dye up with my hands like so. But look at the coverage, watch, look at that. That took like two seconds and the hair is so covered now. Why isn't everyone doing that? Wait, what happens if I just, you guys, look at this. I'm unlocking hair secrets. Watch again, I will show you guys. Look at that, the coverage. It's getting kind of scary. I'm running out of dye. I'm just gonna like do that. Scoop the dye out with the hair. That way nothing goes to waste. I honestly wouldn't mind if it was like a little patchy like this. Like I kind of, oh, I just like the look of that. I feel like there's so much dye in there. Like I don't have the hand strength with my little tiny baby arms. Maybe I found my next life calling. My next life in my next lifetime, not this one. Can I just squeeze it directly onto the head? <gasps> I didn't think of that either. Look at how good that is doing. Ooh, yes. This is really going well. Now I'm just like doing like a nice like scalp massage motion. Two new methods I've discovered. You know, like you have some roots here. So just take like a fingertip of dye, voila. And then you just kind of like smash it in there. And then like a nice soothing scalp massage. I don't know if the bottle just kind of like has some weight to it or if there's like just product in there. Like I thought about like filling it up with water for about the last 30 minutes of this process, I've sworn I'm out of hair dye, but by discovering new methods of getting dye out of the bottle, like smashing the bottle against the mannequin head, also on the ends, I just tried to like shove strands of hair into the dye bottle. Overall, I am pretty excited to see the outcome of this. I am probably going to let it sit for an hour. I have a hair dryer on hand. I know that like when you normally have like dye or bleach in your hair, they like set you underneath the magical warm fishbowl. It also occurred to me that maybe the dye would have lasted longer if I would have wet the hair first. Like, am I supposed to shampoo and like wash the hair before I start dyeing it? Basically for the next hour, I'm going to be scrubbing everything to get the dye off of everything. There's dye on everything I love right now and even some things that I don't love. How are you feeling about it, Belinda? You having a good time? I'll see you guys a little later. It's now 3.50 in the a.m. I have literally just been sitting here like nitpicking and agonizing over this wig. I dried it for a really long time. That was probably a bad choice. It's like literally crispy. As this stuff started to dry, it looks like way more red, like almost like a Jessica Rabbit color. So I am hoping that it's gonna pale out a little bit when I wash it. I am taking this wig to the kitchen sink and I am finally gonna wash, I'm gonna wash it. I'm just gonna peel the wig off. <laughs> oh my God, it's like stuck. Oh. <gasps> Okay, you guys, let me just tell you, I have a confession to make. I was literally gonna just clip this wig to my head and paint the coloring on on my scalp. Do you see what would have happened to me? This is what would have happened to my body. Thank you for your services, madam. Coming to you with the same level of professionalism that I've had for the entirety of this video, here's our wig baby in a paper towel. I'm kind of surprised. It overall looks kind of even, possibly even more even, uh, than I had hoped for. So uh, let's dry this puppy. I literally should mention, I think this wig is pretty high quality. I have really been way too abusive with it. Like I was just wringing it out like that, like the whole thing, like the wig cap. I'm really sad I did not show you guys like the washing experience but if i'm being honest i have so much footage already like i have filmed way too much so excited and ready for this next portion because you guys i have been waiting for a reason and an excuse to use this device for like two years it's called the power styler this is specifically for wig styling obviously you're supposed to clip the wig onto the head. You literally 
shove a hair dryer in its mouth. How am I just always so surprised when things like actually work? It's like drying the wig from the inside out. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I think that I pretty much have it all dry. I'm kind of impressed with my handiwork. I think like the bright lights have begun to blind me. The fumes of the dye have entered my brain. It's almost like it's beyond my pumpkin hour at this point. What I think I'm gonna do is do kind of like a big color reveal tomorrow when the sun is actually out and you guys can see it in like real daylight. This little device is amazing. If you have a lot of wigs and you wash wigs a lot, you probably want to get one of these because this little baby started out soaking wet. Now it is like 90% dry. I will see you guys tomorrow for the grand reveal. Time for the out. You're falling. Door wig reveal. <laughs> what color do you think this is? Red or orange? I think it's a Orange, yeah. You think it's orange? Yeah. See, to me, it looks kind of like more red, but like, I can't tell. Also the sun. Yeah. Oh, I'm not used to it. Yeah, you're having a hard time. Can you guys see any like color differences? See, in some spots, it does look like a nice lighter orange. I do kind of wish that I'd gotten more of the orange color because I feel like ultimately, like at the roots where you can see this lighter color. Maybe I just dyed it really badly and I'm just like, didn't get as much dye on those spots. Oh, we found a bald spot. This just might be something about dyeing wigs and hair that I don't know, but like, like where the stitches are did not take any of the dye at all, go figure. Overall though, like I think it's like pretty consistent color, like not bad for my first ever hair dye job. <laughs> Do you like it? I think it looks pretty good, yeah. It was blonde. You didn't even see it before I did it. It was like... No, I saw it. Well then. I just like to throw wigs around, honestly. That's like the most fun thing you can do with a wig. Whoosh. Can I be a wig juggler? Can y'all see fair Belinda here? I do not know what you guys are gonna say in the comments down below if you think it looks more red or more orange. I am seeing a red. Dogman sees orange. I would ultimately like for it to fade out to be a little bit more orange. It's so weird. It's like if I look at the top, it looks orange. And if I look straight on, it looks red. It's almost like, are we going to have another like, what color is this dress situation? I have heard that heat can like wash out color or remove color from the hair. And uh, I was planning on kind of like straightening the wig a little bit anyway, but I have my hair straightener right now set at a negligently hot temperature. But I thought we would do this together just in case the color changes. Nope, it's in there. You guys, I never realized how great it could be to just freaking, oh, look at that. Oh my God. Okay, it kind of does remove color from your hair. Cause you guys, there was not just a bald spot there. And I just did three passes. And it just like sucked all the color right out of the hair. I have trimmed the lace. I have wigged the cap. The best thing is, is I think that I kind of like stretched the wig cap out with like such abuse and washing and wringing because that is kind of what deters me from wearing wigs long term. Like I'm gonna be honest, I love wearing wigs to film videos or to take like photographs but two seconds after I am done filming the video, sometimes not even all the way, sometimes I take the wig off at the end of the video, it gives me a headache. What am I doing wrong? Time for the big review. Um, what do I look like? Oh my God, I look like a fraggle. You guys, I feel like I need makeup. I feel like makeup would like kind of sell the look a little bit more, but you guys, oh my God. I tried this Does This Thing Really Work product. I haven't had time to edit that video yet. And I've had a scary eye situation after I filmed that video. So I feel like you guys can tell like just this eye has been like kind of swollen. Can you guys still tell? I wonder if I could do like my little like hair rolls. That might be kind of cute. I just need to find Bobby's pins. Oh, now I want a white wig like this and I could look like Dracula. I could even do that 
do you know what I mean? You know the one I mean. Life goals, looking like a 900 year old man. I don't know, kind of silly, right? Like this hair is so clean and so undamaged somehow that I literally don't even know what to do with it. It is so opposite of my own hair, despite the fact that I literally like did all the horrific things I just did to this wig and threw it in the grass. I definitely think with like a little bit more playing around with it, some dry shampoo, you know, if I took the time to like hide all of my real hairs under here, I think that this has mega potential. And I think that I accidentally just unlocked a whole new life hobby for me. Oh my God, it's just focusing on Belinda. Belinda, you turn it. Literally, I already went back to Sally's because the wig looks red to me, right? So I do want to try and do something to it to really just lock and load my true vision here. So I ended up buying more of the porridge color. And then the sweet lady at Sally's also showed me this color off by Punky Color. So she said it's really easy to use and it like removes hair color. So I think that we're gonna give that a go. Oh my God. I could literally just strip this whole wig, I guess, of the dye and start over again. This is honestly like an amazing wig and I'm not sure how much like human hair wigs normally cost, but I think that this one was around like 250, 260. I'm not gonna lie, when I first got it in the mail, like it was like the least well wrapped and presented wig I've ever received in my life. I literally went into this thinking that like I just got like kind of a crappy wig, but this, like I wish you could touch it. Like it feels so like voluminous and like, it's just good. This was a fun experience. Um. Anyway, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this video down below. Would y'all like for me to do more videos like this, like more wig transformation videos? Do you want me to try it on some synthetic wigs as well? I don't know where this sudden, like I got bit by the wig bug came from. So let me know if you guys would like to participate in any future shenanigans as well. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so so much and I will see y'all again very very soon. Bye!